welcome back to Top Tech. Today I'm going to unbox the Samsung S10e. This is the newest phone released by the Samsung company. I have it in the black model. I got it in the 128 gigabyte model. Let's see what it contains. It says packaging contains Samsung Galaxy S10e, the SIM card, wall USB charger, stereo headset. We'll check that out. USB to USB to USB-C connector, quick start guide, and the terms and conditions. So we will look at this. I have already set up the phone. That way we do not have to do it in the video. So I have already gone through this box. I've taken out the wall charger. Just letting you know. So I remove all the paperwork. I got this in the AT&T model. Like all the phones I have done. I know the LG had that AT&T logo on it. So here is the phone. It's looking pretty good. So let's take this plastic wrap off of it. So I'm taking this plastic wrap off and it's looking pretty good. So that's it for the plastic wrap. I don't think there's any on the top and there's not. So, oh, there is, there's a bit more on this top. On the top of the phone. So this is the black version. It doesn't really look black. It looks ceramic. It looks more blue. This is not this is like a silverish blue, not black. So let's turn this guy on. So we have our fingerprint reader on the side this year. And we have our Bixby button, which we will check out, and our lightning and our volume up and volume down buttons. So let's set that to the side and see what else we get in the box. So we get our AKG headphones, which I'm gonna take out in a minute. This is our USB-C to USB connector, which we will check out in a minute. We have our AKG headphones, which we will also check out in a minute. And our USB-C to USB, charger and let's set the box to the side so there so we have the box set to the side so now let's take a look at the phone so we have our pattern set up i'm going to so Let's look at the, some of the security features on the S10e. So the S10 Plus, as we all know from Samsung's ads, has the has the fingerprint reader in the screen, which uses sound waves to find the print. So let's look at lock. Oh, wrong place. So let's look at biometrics and security. Let's look at fingerprints. Let's draw. Let's draw our pattern and let's add a finger so I'm going to use my thumb so it kind of just is showing that it's on there but not really like on apples I know it's looking at the different parts of the print individually this scans every part at once in a part in one scan so that was pretty fast. So I'm going to say done. And now let's close that. So let's open this phone. So I don't even have to turn on the phone. And the phone is already unlocked. So I just rest my finger on there. I just don't even have to look at it. I mean, the phone isn't even on. So I do know that a new f that some features on the new phones have the apps slide. So we have all of our apps on the app slide, which is basically just a shortcut wherever you are to get into a Samsung app, a Samsung based app. So let's look at Bixby. 
So if I press the Bixby button, it says, Hi, what would you like to do? The new Bixby. See what's new. So you can, like, tell her. Hey, Bixby. Bixby. What's today's weather? What's today's weather? I need your permission to continue. Okay, so it needs permission. So we're not going to do that. We're not doing that. So let's check out the USB to USB-C adapter. So I just plug that in. And then we can plug in pretty much anything. So I have a wireless. Alright. So it's just basically to plug anything in. If you have anything you'd really want to plug in. It's just, so this is, would be your, where you would charge it. This is the shape of it. And then you would put in your USB-C connector. So, this is the charging cable. It just goes into your phone. And the USB wall brick, it would go into the wall brick and would go into your wall. So, the S10e also has wireless charging. So, let's check out the headphones. So, how does this packaging come out? So, you take off the plastic. AKG. And then these, I just guess, slide out. So, you have to pop these in, like, out or in. I think we pop them in. And just pull them right out. So, wow, these are hard to do. I'm gonna grab some scissors. Free these from its box. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so it actually has a open place right there which I should have noticed before I got my scissors Let's put those to the side so those are to the side now let's take out these so we get some included ear tips to find the right fit so we can put those there and now we have these in almost like a rope like cable I mean, these look better than apples. I mean, they're obviously, they are AKG. So I'll have to play something and we can hear the sound. So let's go to YouTube and let's look up something. Let's go to Google and look something up. Let's find something. So, let's fire up the Google browser and let's search up. YouTube. Let's look something up. So if I go to YouTube, I'm going to search up maybe look up yellow by Coldplay. So let's see how this works. So I know that's pretty loud. You can tell it's pretty loud. So it definitely has bass. So they're pretty nice. So they actually do work. They give you a nice, decent pair of headphones. So we can put those to the side. Put these right here. All right, so they're there. Now let's look at, all right. So as, oh shoot, just turned off the phone. So as we all know, if you press and hold the home button, Google comes up. So there's our Google Assistant. So he can, she can do anything that we want them to do. Oh, it's recording.
recording. So if I say, look up Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And there's the S10, the S10 Plus, and everything's pretty much there. So then it can take you to the link in Google. So now let's check out the camera on this phone. I know that it has a bunch of different modes. So you can find the right one. It has the ultra light lens, which can get you a better picture. See? It expands a lot better. See that? It expands so good. And then let's check out the selfie facing camera. Where's the change? So it's looking pretty nice. So a new thing is called Bixby Vision. So let's check it out. So Bixby Vision is pretty much just tells you what you're looking at. So if you're looking at something, pretty much just tells you. So let's look at AR emoji. So I have already set one up, and let's check it out. So we find a face. It makes pretty much an emoji of what Apple's trying to do. See, it just kind of mimics what you're doing. So if I close my eyes, it closes them too. So it's pretty much just a mimic of whatever you do. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's better than just emojis talking or doing stupid stuff like Apple's doing. But um, on the back, we have the two cameras. I know this one's a 12 megapixel and this one is a 10. This is our sensor for the ultra wide lens. That's our, that looks like a one tone flash. No, that's definitely two tone. That's one tone. Yeah, that's a one tone flash. This is not black. This is Samsung's version of black. It is not black. This is like almost blue. This is like gray. So it's pretty much just pretty much a gray. So the screen display on this is pretty cool. You can move the wallpaper. Like you can set your wallpaper to kind of move. All you have to do is say when it's asking you to do your wallpaper, you say live. And it will pretty much show a live image. Um, just pretty much show like a live image of your wallpaper, whatever it is, moving. Then you can always scroll down from the top like you can on my LG and clear the at any notifications you have. It shows you the time. You can turn off Wi-Fi. You can adjust the sound, Bluetooth, and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for the Samsung S10e. I will have more videos on it coming out later. Peace.